Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, thank you very much for being on Electrica and for watching. I really appreciate that. Now, today I want us to talk about bases, really bases, okay? I know uh, some people out there, uh, really, these bases confuse them when they see them, okay? But these bases are the simplest thing to connect. Now, today I want to show you uh, that. Now, previously, we've talked about really a couple, in a couple of videos. So if you don't mind, you can go watch that. I will be putting the link in the description. There is an immediate video I just did recently, and I explained uh, in details about it really. So you can watch it also, link in the description, and it probably in the info card, okay? Now, uh, these relays, they are pin relays, but there are various types of these pin relays, okay? And um, you can find that they, there is seven, I, I mean, there is eight pin, this is eight pin, there is 11 pin, this one, there is a four pin, and so on and so forth. So, this is a base, okay? They have their own bases, and the bases carries the connection, okay? Unlike, unlike a contactor, which carries all its connection uh, on it, but the relay, because they want to keep it simple, uh, you have the base, you make all the wiring, then later you come and put the base in, okay? And put the relay in the base, okay? Just like that. And also, it has uh, a guide here, a slot right here, which will help you to guide each pin to fall into the right what? The right hole. Because there is a scenario, if there is no uh, this guide here, any pin can enter in any hole and probably it will be connecting supply against the uh, normally closed. And that will, you know, uh, you know be a, a short circuit, okay? All right. Now, if we look at this 8-pin, uh, this is a float race relay. Eh? Uh, I have a video about this, if you're wondering which one is this. And uh, if you look at this, you're able to see that there is a guide here, okay? And this guide, now you're able to see that he number, here you're able to see that number two and number seven are the coil right here, okay? And then you're able to see that uh, number five, number six, and number seven are uh, yeah, number number five is a common, and then number eight is right here is closed, and then number six is open. Okay, so if you're going to connect this really here, you're able to know which one is supply, and then which one your, is your common, and then which one is normally open and normally closed. But we're going to do a small demonstration on the on this one. Okay. The guide is right here. If, when you're watching that video to the end, you're able to see what I'm trying to say, okay? So, we have this guide here, and uh, basing on the guide right on this relay, they are telling us that number one and number 11 are our supply. Number one and number 11. So, each base it has a number. You're able to see number one. You're able to see number 11, okay? All right. Now, Right here, uh, I've showed you uh, one set here. So number nine is uh, number nine is closed to number eight and is open to number ten. Okay, so you know if probably you're going to use that. So you must know that number nine to ten is open and number nine to eight is closed. Okay, all right. So let us just do that. Eh? Since we've known that number one and number eleven is our supply, so here is our number one, and this is our number eleven. So I'm just going to take uh, the live here, and I'll put it in number eleven. Uh, this one, this one, it won't matter uh, whether the live is in eleven or one. It really won't matter. Okay. So I'll grab a neutral here. Okay, now that 11 and 1 is our supply, and we've connected that already. So I'll just grab our relay and uh, press it here really quick. Okay, so if I press here, you see that our relay clicks. So I want to show you, and you see how the contacts move. Maybe this side. So you're able to see that the contacts are moving. So 
number one and number 11 is our supply okay all right so having done that so because this is now you're connecting to your relay so now you're able to command your relay what do you want it to do for you okay uh in most cases what normally we do i'll give you an example like in a changeover switch you have a timer and you have a contactor now look at this contactor let's say if this contactor was 150 amps okay and uh you have got uh, a timer which is probably 10 amps or even less uh, that that timer won't uh, supply this contactor directly you will have to use a relay so you, the relay can supply the contact and the timer supply the relay that's how the chain goes hope you understood that okay so i'm going to grab my meter uh, right quick and uh, I want it on and I will select it okay in continuity so that's continuity and um, so we have number 10 we have number 10 right here okay and uh, we have 9 and we have 8 right here okay so we are just going to grab our relay we drop here quick and I want uh, I want you to see this so this is number nine right there and if I test number nine and number eight you see that there is a continuity meaning it is normally closed because our relay is not powered if I test that between that and ten it's open there is nothing so I'm holding right now so I'm going to turn it on so number nine and eight if you close it opens eh? if you switch on the relay it opens okay so if we so if we put it between number nine right here and number ten okay so and our relay is off right now okay so the moment you close your circuit uh between number nine and ten the circuit will close okay the circuit will close and you if you look at my multimeter you see that there is some continuity okay you're able to see that continuity so and and, and uh, you, what you have to know is to make sure that you see the common you always have to use the common the common takes the incoming signal and then uh, the other either terminals either uh, closed or open that will carry the outgoing signal you don't have to connect it the other way around it won't really work for you so you have to identify the common and then you're able to supply the others uh, the relay itself between its switching so i really appreciate uh, your time here thank you very much for watching i appreciate that please don't forget to subscribe like and share and don't forget to watch the video that i pressed in the description because that way you can learn how these things work okay thank you very much until next time i'm out